bacon. Keep going. That's stupid. Okay. How's he doing? Now keep working. We're extremely grateful for the Wilkinson family for coming forth with the page. On the page is the name of a previously unknown conspirator, Thomas Gates. Nichols is bought into it. You see this? Yeah, would you stop watching that? It's on the internet. No stopping it now. They have no understanding. You know the truth. That's all that matters. You heard the story from Grandpa Charles. The story. This guy's got evidence. He's got everything. We have a story. We have nothing. For one brief moment, the Gates family can hold its head up. Now we're a bunch of crazies. But we're not liars. Look, Wilkinson is saying that Thomas Gates was a mastermind in one of the darkest hours in U.S. history, and he burned the diary page to cover that up. And you and I both know he burned the page to keep Booth's men from finding a treasure, and that's what we're going to prove. And there's only one way to prove it. You have to find the treasure. You've got to find it, and you're going to help me find it. So come on, let's hear the story again from Grandpa Charles. Grandpa heard his father say the treasure map. Then there was a commotion. Okay, and I've got all that. Was there anything after that, anything he said, something he did, anything at all? Wait a minute. What? He took his son's hand, he looked him in the eye, and he said, with his dying breath, the debt that all men pay. The debt that all men pay? The debt that Thomas paid. Well, that's five letters. <laughs> Try death. What? It's the key code. The debt that all men pay is death. It's a who, Edward Lovelay. Where's the phone? I don't know, son. I can't find anything in this mess. It's temporary until I find a new place. Find the old one. I like her. 